Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. There is something up with her. She has this giant house. She's burying, like, secret messages all over the place. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, and we can leave it to Scrappy-Doo or whoever to figure it out. What's a Scrappy-Doo? Yeah, but we could figure it out. Aren't you the least bit curious? There's not gonna be a sunken pirate ship at the end of this, Alex. It's just a wrecked submarine. Yeah, and if you're really so anxious, you can come back on your own time. I just want to get home. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a... Chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? <sighs> Negative. But maybe I just missed it. She made a lot of, what should I call these, slides? They're not videos. Um, silent memories? It's like a... it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. We looked through all of her stuff, I think. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. Radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally, Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? Okay, sure. Look, Clarice is here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yes, perfect. I don't care what she says, just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again. Who knows? Okay, we get it. Haha, -ha, carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of... Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. I'm not talking to you. I'm just talking out loud. You can only ever talk out loud. Ugh. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Uh, she must have figured it out, that there were ghosts here and the potential for them to be running amok. I guess that's a possibility. 
Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got him. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you sh Nona, are you okay? Wait, wake up! <laughs> Ren, come on, we got a boat to catch, buddy. Come on, Jonas. I I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I don't want to be trained. What are you signed, signed up for this, Alexandra? possible. So please, I cannot bear your ex- said maybe leave was possible. Maybe. I didn't- I didn't even know what the hell you were talking about. Shh. It's okay. Everything, Everything will, will be, be fine. fine. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother's apple pie. I don't want to play this. Just tell me what's happening. Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's your choice. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. Is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models emitted x-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. in other sense. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy. With my little eye, a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Uh, is it the... the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The, the picture of, of, I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very, very nice. nice. That's Margaret, Margaret Adler and her friend Anna. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing, well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. And in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time, and a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not, not an eternal, eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. You, you can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex. And what has seemed to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak 
We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. Please, just don't do this. We're... we're not... It's sad, I know, to lose the facility to feel, to be, but... We have not felt anything for a very long time. And we'll do whatever is necessary. Our vessel dashed on the rocks. We had until dawn. And so will you. We would spend our time wisely. And... We thank you for your good service. So, I'm kind of screwed. He should go to school here. Okay, seriously, who are you? So we can go on. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah. Gah, we kind of really are. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then, I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts. No, completely, that's the plan. Of course it is. Clarissa is not gonna be the human sponge for some evil island ghosts. Not on my watch. Well, if we're going to the cave, Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields, anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's, uh... It's Epiphany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. Alright, there's already something in here. Experiments and Findings of Experienced Phenomena, January 52. Awesome! Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this is just the... Uh... God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself? Okay, but... But we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. 
Yeah, but that's like scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry. This is like this looks like the end, but from the from the wrong film thing. No, no, no. Wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing cuz it like sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Uh, actually, I've been with Jonas kind of all night, so if anyone wants to switch up the batting order, I wouldn't exactly be... Yeah, obviously Alex is getting, or has been, sick of me for a while now, so for civility's sake... Don't be like that, Jonas. Come on. Forget it then, okay? I'm sorry. Let's not dirty the cabinets, I guess. All right, just for anyone wondering, I used to say that a lot until I realized how weird it sounded. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please don't tell me. I won't want to know. Ha, uh, we won't. Alex, Alex, okay, are you, are you back to normal? I just saw, it, it, it was like a premonition, I think, and, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. Uh-oh, uh, that's not good. I guess I'd been convincing myself I was immune because of my generally happy demeanor. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider to them. But the thing with Ren, it was so real. It was... <laughs> no, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. I saw... I saw Ren drowning in a... The only way to describe it is it was like a vision or something. What? 
Seriously? Alex got possessed for a minute there. And yes, it was scary, but it was just a hallucination triggered by ghosts rummaging around through her brain. No big deal. I mean, they're clearly fine. Well, wait. Look, Jonas, it was real, all right? As real as the other loops or any of the other hundred crazy things that have happened tonight. Don't say that! What am I supposed to do with this? It's not like I can really avoid drowning any more than I can normally do on a daily basis. You're on land, Ren. I don't think anything's gonna happen. But then, why would just she- Just be careful, alright? I don't know why I saw what I saw, but just keep on your toes, okay? Well, I am now, yeah. Okay, well, it's been fun catching up, kids. We'll go do our half of the fix the ghost problem equation now. <sighs> alright, well, uh, see you after. I just hope so. Don't say that!